Good morning my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today is finally moving day so if you are new to my channel my name is Isa and I am a disabled scholar writer and advocate um, and I'm moving back to Texas to finish my graduate program and um, because everything was virtual um, for uh, last year I moved with my family to Florida in last December so um, now I'm moving back to Texas because I now am moving into my fully accessible um, apartment on campus so it's really exciting you're gonna be joining me and my middle sibling as we drive to Texas from Florida which is terrifying but also it's gonna be great it's gonna be fine it's gonna be awesome um it is currently <laughs> 450 something um i've been kind of up since 3 30 just because i like my sister and i both have not been able to sleep <laughs> so we've been kind of trying to doze a little bit but um i'm gonna take the first couple of hours and then she's gonna take the next couple of hours um but i gotta pack up the last few things and kind of wake people up to say my goodbyes um but yeah we're finally doing it jump uh it is oh now God, it's two in the afternoon. yeah it's two in the afternoon florida time one in the afternoon or not i mean almost two florida almost one um texas time we just passed or we passed the border about an hour ago and we're in alabama um we just went to bucky's uh we're over halfway to our hotel for tonight very thankful to be done as soon as possible. It has been a long drive, but most of it we've taken turns sleeping. But I did the last big chunk. But um, we're making good time. Ridiculously good time. Yeah, slowly but surely we'll be getting there pretty early. Um, so we just gotta figure out what to do. We'll grab some dinner, watch a movie. Yeah, we'll grab some dinner, probably watch a movie in our room, try to avoid being around as many people as possible because everything is so bad like nobody is paying attention and it's not helping my anxiety going back to texas because bucky's was absolutely horrific uh -huh. with the amount of people um there without masks including employees so we're no longer at disney world um anyway probably check in when we get to our hotel later tonight unless something funny happens Good morning! So we got to our hotel uh, pretty early last night, probably around 7-ish, and then we just stayed in, went to bed early. Um, I pulled Becca out of bed at like 6 45 this morning. I've been up since 5 because I couldn't sleep. Um, how do you feel about the turn of events? I'm to my events. Okay. Um, anyway, so we already had our first disaster of the morning. I went to turn on my car. I couldn't turn on my car and um, couldn't figure it out. And then Becca used the power of Google and calm thinking to get through the problem. And we figured out that somehow we had managed to trigger the anti-theft device on my Kia Soul. So we figured out how to undo that. And now we're in the car. We're going to get some Starbucks. Um, and I'm going to drive for two and a half hours. And then Lee is going to drive for two and a half hours. Um, and we will be hopefully in Texas and in Fort Worth really soon um and get all of this mess out of the way i think most of this video is probably just gonna be me unpacking and getting my room all set up and that stuff so anyway see you later we made it to texas um i am currently in the process of trying to unpack a lot of the stuff um a lot of my things like my mattress and uh, couch and other random <sighs> things are in my storage unit which we won't be getting into until tomorrow 
Um, hopefully I can find the information on how to do that because I tucked it away somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's been a hectic day. We, we got here and then um, I had to check in, but the I was here early. So, well, first off, sorry. First off, we stopped off at Lee's, um, sorry, brain fog. First, we stopped at Lee's um, Starbucks and then we stopped by our old house just to see it. And then we came here and my incredible, awesome friends came and helped me p take everything out of my car. So that was a really quick process. And then we hung out and they got to see me have like a little spaz kind of panic <laughs> moment um, as I was like just running around trying to get some semblance of organization, which still kind of feels like I don't have any sense of organization. I'll show you a mess in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a thing. It's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, and my room is huge. My apartment is just beautiful. We have this incredible view of the playground. The lighting is awesome. This is all natural lighting. And, um, my bathroom is really big. Um, so maybe at some point later when we're more settled in sometime in this vlog hopefully i can give you a tour of um my or my apartment which is fully accessible so this is what i'm dealing with right now just piles and piles and piles of stuff and it's still not everything that i am owning so um, I'm thinking probably Ikea sometime tomorrow afternoon after I'm done with my storage unit, but we will see. We'll get dinner pretty soon. Um, we're all just kind of exhausted, so I gotta get to a stopping point, and then we can get settled in for the evening and probably veg out a little bit because we gotta get up really early tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's been a while since I last recorded. But here we are. Things are a little less hectic, a little more organized. Um, I will have to show you around my fully accessible apartment in a little bit. Um, I won't be able to show you the living area until probably later, just because I don't want to bother my roommate. Um, but I can definitely show you my room and how it looks. Currently, there is no wheelchair in here because um, I'm going to Costco later and my um, mom and uh, Beck had to stay at a hotel or they were staying at a hotel and they needed to borrow my car because the rental car situation fell through. So they have it so that I can go in my roommate's car to go to Costco because um, my roommate's car doesn't, I can't put my wheelchair in it. Um, but yeah, things are a little more together. My brain is a little less all over the place. I had my first night sleeping in my apartment without any family last night, and it was great. I slept really well <laughs> for the most part. Um, no nightmares, which is always good. But yeah, if you don't want to hear me talk, let me show you my room. It is a little messy. I need to sweep. I want to mop. Um, and some things are not quite all the way together. But they're getting there and um, that's the important part right so I opted for a calyx to like build a calyx bed um, just for the storage so I could put stuff in the way back um, and keep it out of my closet since I'm using my closet as a kind of um, uh, makeup area um, though you can't really tell that right now <laughs> so here is my desk um, I wasn't a huge fan of the placement originally because it kind of sticks out, but typically, um, I, even though I have an office chair, um, what I'm going to end up doing is actually just using my wheelchair because I, that wasn't an option before. And since I can use my wheelchair, I'm hoping I can work more at my desk for longer periods of time. Um, so my back doesn't hurt as bad because I've been having some issues, but that's just from all the carrying. I've got my necklaces here. Here's my closet. It's very messy, but this is going to be like my little makeup station. Lots of space. Um, I love this closet so much. But uh, then we have 
a fake fireplace that uh, my grandpa bought my mom and my mom gave it to me when I moved um, out and here's the decor this is probably the most beautiful part of my entire room right now um, I've got my little stuff here and all my plants this is gonna be my recording area um, for videos got a little we can do it so it's still kind of bare still gotta figure some stuff out I'm gonna put flowers there um, but yeah this is it here's my bathroom situation got a little heater and stuff um don't mind this extra towel on the floor but there's my bath got a lot of handrails which has been already super nice convenient but this tub um, is awesome because it's got a kind of seat already in there so I guess set that down um, it is extended out so it would be easier for someone who needs to transfer if they can transfer but I can grab onto the handrails to get in, um, I bought a couple of these tub things so that as I'm showering, I can take it from one spot and put it in another. And then I wanna put plants up high. Um, hopefully pothos, I'm gonna put a plant light in here um, to try to keep them alive. And then that way I have some fresh plant things. But here's the shower. The one problem I do have is I am still trying to figure out how to keep the water in the tub when I'm taking a shower because the curtain has to be like kind of awkward but we're working on it I'm working on it um but this has been where I've been keeping my wheelchair for the most part um while I got my stuff set up I forgot to show you guys my windows I love my windows it looks over um a playground for the resident children but um my favorite part is back there there is a parking lot um that for almost an entire year i parked to go to school since i stayed at the same university uh, for my master's program and the whole time i was looking over here looking at my future bedroom and i never knew and then if you go up the street that is up the street and then down a little bit or like sideways uh that is where my um class building is so it is really convenient the only problem is I can't go in my chair to go up to the building technically I could but coming down it's not entirely safe um, with the, my current braking system so I'm hoping that the buses will start up because that's where the accessible bus stops okay so it's been even more days it's almost been like a week since I last recorded because things have been busy and overwhelming a little bit um i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna be posting next so it'll be a surprise for the both of us um <laughs> i just wanted to finish this video say thank you for watching this chaos video i hope it might have been informative or at least a little entertaining i don't know um moving is stressful um, but anyway, hopefully my content will become more educational as the semester goes by. I'm still planning on keeping up with my recording schedule, so I will record something tomorrow. And, um, also so sorry for this last, or like last week not being posted on time. There was an issue that I just discovered that, um it didn't process all the way or something and um it deleted the video luckily i still had a copy on my computer which i had thought i deleted everything because i have to delete everything because i don't have a lot of um, memory so anyway if you want to see more of my chaos brain um don't forget to like and subscribe and um if you have any questions about grad school or moving or just kind of my experience as a chronically ill um, wheelchair user, ambulatory wheelchair user, feel free to leave them below.